Welcome, welcome, ciao! Today we're gonna do a review of the sleeping bag from Cumulus Panium 450. I think it's pronounced Panium, but I'm not sure. If you're new to the channel, my name is Davide Travelli, alaskatopatagonia.com, and uh, I've been cycling around the world uh, since uh, 2015. On this channel, we do reviews of uh, camping gear, uh, tips and tricks about cycling around the world, gear, review of gear of my bike and uh, so this is the time it's a good time to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let's get into the sleeping bag Pinium uh, 450 first of all a few words about the company uh, Cumulus it's a Polish company and uh, they make uh, sleeping bags mainly in dawn but they also have synthetics uh, they also make a dawn jacket and other, uh, and other few uh, items of clothing they make very high quality products uh, the legend goes that uh, uh, they were contracting for, uh, for major uh, outdoor brands and then they started to sell uh, in, uh, the, the products uh, with their own brand. I'm not sure about this. I I didn't double check. I didn't ask them. Uh, I got to know uh, a Cumulus on a, on a forum, on an internet forum, when I was uh, searching for a good quality sleeping bag that didn't break the bank. And uh, many people were recommending uh, the products of Cumulus. And that was uh, uh, when I was in Ecuador and I got a herniated disc and then uh, in Peru, when I got to Peru, I had to, I had to replace uh, uh, some of my gear. And previously, I was uh, traveling with a with a synthetic uh, uh, sleeping bag that was uh, much cheaper, but it was uh, bulky and uh, it was very heavy. So I then switched to uh, Cumulus uh, Dawn sleeping bags, and uh, these. Uh, sleeping bag I used uh, for the whole of Africa and part of Europe uh, till now. One of the things that I like about Cumulus is not just that they have high quality finishing and high quality products but also that they have the option to purchase your sleeping bag with a hydrophobic dawn. Hydrophobic dawn um, is, a, is a type of dawn that has a, has a particular treatment, uh, coating treatment that uh, makes it um, makes it water repellent and basically even when it's wet this uh, type of dawn retain its, pro its thermical uh, properties because it's still able to, to retain the, the loft, the fluffiness and so there is air in between the, the dawn flakes and hence you sleep warm even if it's wet because there is that loft, that fluffiness and it's only the loft and the fluffiness in sleeping bag made of dawn that keeps you warm. A few words about the feel power of sleeping bags. The feel power measure uh, the quality of the dawn. I, I want to keep it simple so I'm sure some people will say it's not correct but it basically tells you uh, the quality of the dawn so the higher the number of the fill power uh, the less dawn you need to stay warm so let's say you need uh, uh, 400 grams of dawn to stay warm at a certain temperature of uh, with fill power of 850 if you were to get a dawn that was only like 600 you may need uh, uh, 600 grams or 700 grams so the higher the fill power the less uh, heavy is gonna be your sleeping bag to uh, to maintain the same uh, temperature rating so in this case Paynam as a 450 is using a 450 grams of 150 uh, Kuin fill power dawn so uh, there is also when when you compare products on the market you also have to uh, keep in mind that the fill power measurements uh, or unit measures in uh, in Europe is different from the one that they use in North America US Canada 
some people say the European dawn is higher quality. It's not higher quality. It's just a different scale of measurements. So, uh, like in this case, 150 fill power that is used uh, in this sleeping bag would translate to uh, a fill power of 900 in the US in Canada. So if you see fill power of uh, 850 in North America, it corresponds to 800 in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. And if you see in Europe, uh, 900 fill power to have the same quality of dawn in the US, you would have to look for 950. Cumulus give you the chance to customize uh, as much as you want their sleeping bags. They have like a, a creator session on their, uh, on their website where you choose one model and then you can customize everything about that model. As a standard, you can choose uh, um, the, the zipper to have it on your left hand side, on your right hand side, and that's standard. Any other uh, customization, uh, you pay a price and you can fully customize, you can change the, the fabric, you can change the color of the fabric, you can change the amount of dawn, you can change the balance of the dawn because there is more dawn on, on the front, less on the back. Um, you can customize so many things, uh, but then it gets more expensive. Uh, the um, a customization that I would recommend that you don't really see in, uh, as an option when you choose left zipper or right zipper is the hydrophobic dawn. Um, I think the cost is like 70 or 80 euros more than the standard price, but I would highly recommend the hydrophobic dawn. And before placing an order, you can you can send them an email and they will confirm the availability but I would strongly, strongly recommend an hydrophobic dawn. This uh, sleeping bag weighs 100, 810 grams of 450 grams of dawn. Uh, the, the sack, uh, it's 6.6 uh, liters. The comfort temperature of this uh, sleeping bag is zero degrees. The limit temperature is min minus six degrees celsius and the extreme temperature is minus 23 degrees celsius now when you when you choose uh, the sleeping bag i usually look for the for the comfort uh, temperature uh, the guidance is if you're a cold sleeper look for the comfort temperature if you're a warm sleeper look for the limit temperature. In this case, the comfort temperature is zero and the limit temperature is minus six. So if you're a cold sleeper, you should keep in mind zero. If you're a warm sleeper, is minus six. Uh, in, I slept uh, with this, uh, with this uh, I'm a very cold sleeper. I'm very, very cold. But I slept with this sleeping bag up to minus two, minus three, and uh, and I felt pretty comfortable. And I was sleeping in just my underwear, t-shirt, and underpants. Uh, I guess you could use it till uh, minus uh, min even if you're a cold sleeper, you could use it till uh, between minus six and uh, and minus ten if you're wearing some clothing. Maybe if you're wearing your uh, uh, some uh, some thermical underwear, or if you're we wearing some clothes, some socks, some pants, uh, uh, like uh, like uh, some base layer, mid layer, and maybe a down jacket, you should get uh, uh, pretty easily to to minus ten, in my opinion. So. All in all, I think this is like a four season. Uh, uh, I would consider like a four season uh, sleeping bag that you can uh, you can buy for your bike adventure if you're crossing a continent and you go through a different range of uh, of temperature and climates. I started uh, uh, crossing Africa when it was winter in South Africa and Namibia, and. Uh, I felt pretty comfortable with this sleeping bag, although 
as I mentioned. Uh, the coldest night I think was minus three in Namibia. And, uh, and then when I was in very hot climate, I would just keep it open and, uh, and use it as a blanket basically. Only when I need it uh, during the night, at the beginning maybe you don't need it because it's pretty warm and then it cools down and you need to, you need a little bit of warmth. So I usually opened it and use it as partially as a blanket. Um, what I like about this uh, sleeping bag is the, the quality of the materials, the quality builds, the quality of the zipper. Uh, it has like a neck uh, that you can adjust uh, to stop drafts coming in if it gets very, very cold, but I never really used it. Um, I think uh, you would use it if it gets very cold, like minus 10, minus 15, something like that. Um, what I don't like uh, about the sleeping bag is that the zipper doesn't open till uh, till the end, but the foot box doesn't doesn't open. Now there are very very few uh, sleeping bags that you can open till the the foot box, so it's not it's not unusual. Uh, but it would have been nicer, yeah, especially because I I need to to regulate the temperature of my body uh, frequently during the night. When you purchase the sleeping bag from Cumulus, it comes with, um, with this big bag. And this is a bag uh, for long-term storage of your sleeping bag. Let's say that you uh, are not gonna use your sleeping bag for more than, say, a month, two months. Uh, you need to store it for a year or two in between your adventures it's recommended to store it in this uh, bigger bag so that the, uh, the, the down inside the sleeping bag has the opportunity to, uh, to be filled with air so to return its loft, uh, its fluffiness. If we keep it in the, com in the small compression bag, the dawn keep uh, stay compressed for a very long time and the dawn tends to have a little bit of memory so if you compress it for a very long time it doesn't go back uh, to the same fluffiness the same loft that it had originally if, if that happens then we lose uh, uh, some of the thermic uh, properties of the dawn so it's not gonna gonna keep you as warm as it was when it when it was new so if you if you're not gonna use your sleeping bag for a long time <clears throat> you better store it in this uh, bigger bag it can be combined with other sleeping bags so if you're a couple you can uh, you can make a, a double sleeping bag it also has an independent downfill collar with an adjustable uh, cord it has an adjustable hood and also uh, a mesh pocket with a zip inside the sleeping bag with a fluorescent puller. There are also five uh, different eyes uh, to hang the, the sleeping bag or to use for drying. The price of the sleeping bag is uh, 275 euros. Plus, I don't remember if I pay 70 or 80 euros more for the hydrophobic tone. Highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all. I think if you're on the market for a good sleeping bag for um, crossing a continent or for uh, long-term traveling uh, that you can use in, uh, in various situations that is versatile, I think you could consider uh, the Pinam uh, 450. If you're looking for something a little smaller, a little lighter, they now have a new model uh, that is called the x Lite 400. They use a higher filling power dawn. They use uh, uh, some lighter materials, some lighter fabrics, and a different type of construction that is a little tighter. And that sleeping bag gives you more or less they say a little more to be honest um, thermic insulation as this this sleeping bag but obviously it comes with a price and it costs 100 euros more it costs 375 uh, euros 
that's all for the Panium 450. I hope this was half helpful if you were looking for information on the Panium 450 or if you're looking in, or if you're in the market for a, for a new sleeping bag that it can be versatile and used in more than one season. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. It helps my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you didn't like the video, click twice on dislike. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.